Did you know you could eat an entire pig ear? Um, I think, well, let's try it out. Let's see if you can. Today on the best ever food review show, we're going on another food adventure, this time in Guangzhou, China, and we are in a large scale Chinese restaurant. Let me tell you, this place is like nothing I've ever seen before. It is huge, they have everything. Let's take a quick tour. This is the walk station. The steaming station. The cutting station. The butchering station. The dim sum steaming station. The dim sum dough rising room. The oven room. The meat grinding room. The dim sum prep room. The roasted meats room. The pan frying room. Ni hao. The sashimi room! The fruit cutting room. Oh, the livestock area. The meat drying room. The rice cooking room. And this is the roasting area, and this is where I'm gonna be hanging out today. Last week when I showed you, I was bumbling around Guangzhou and I found this huge lunch being cooked with tons of these roasted suckling pigs. I needed to get a closer look, closer understanding of these beautiful pigs, uh, what made them tick, what they were thinking about. Um, their motivations, and mainly also what they taste it like. Here we're really diving in, all the roasted specialties. We've got roasted suckling pig. We've got probably a roasted goose. We are gonna find out what else they roast in here, and we're gonna eat all of that stuff. You can hear them cutting now. Let's go check it out, and let's go <coughs> eat. What have they made for me here? This is a beautiful plate of chasu. That is the roasted pork belly, and it looks freaking amazing and the smell is even amazinger. Here we go, roasted pork, cha su, in China. It doesn't get any more authentic than this. Oh my God. It's just, it's a little bit sweet, tons of roasted fat, it's dripping. I feel this in my heart. It's bringing back Chinese childhood memories I didn't even have. Oh, usually what people would do is they would cut it with some rice, but I just cut it with some more cha su, you know what I'm saying? That was amazing, honestly, it took my breath away, but the reason we're all here is for this goose and for this pig. Next, we're gonna try some roast goose. So you might have seen a few weeks ago, I tried this clay pot duck in Chinatown in Saigon, and this isn't so different from that. We've got three giant clay pots, but just built into the bricks here, and it's the same method. There's coal on the bottom, and then they're putting ducks or whatever delicious animals around the perimeter. It gets cooked from the front, from all around. It's just like a big, steaming, sexy oven in there. Why did I say sexy? I'm told that the goose is traditional Cantonese food, and here it is. We have three geese hanging up here, ready to go. I, I don't know exactly what the big difference is between a duck and a goose. I'm gonna find out today. But you will see the goose has this kind of big ball on its head, and they also like to hiss at you when they're pissed off. But do they taste different? That is the question, I'm not sure. We've got our three geese here. They're gonna take them from here and go into the clay pot where they're gonna roast them. We are now following the chef who is gonna take the duck and he's gonna put it into this hot, oven, charcoal flame right in the middle. There's a big pond of duck fat that is dropping down below on the perimeter. Inside this giant clay pot here, we've got our three ducks, and this thing is like a sauna. It's fragrant, it's fatty, it's meaty, it's delicious, and I can't wait to try it. I think there's nothing better than roasting. It really taps in to your caveman sensibilities. Oh, see, look at this. So before they cook the goose, actually they pull it right from here. This restaurant has a live bird section. <gasps> Where's the goose? Oh, that's right. Literally dripping fat. That is beautiful. Uh, are there any geese left? What's really amazing is that a restaurant like this, if someone is ordering chicken or a goose, they can literally pluck it from here, butcher it, cook it, and serve it in less than 20 minutes. That's pretty insane. Are you guys hungry? Because this is making me hungry. Have you had goose? I've never had goose. I tried duck a few weeks ago in Chinatown in Vietnam, so I wanted to try something a little bit different, and that's why we're doing goose today. It's goose time. So the first thing he does, he cuts it open, and they drain the liquid from inside. And that is not gonna go to waste. That's gonna become some kind of sauce or some kind of something. I don't know. I'll put it in my coffee later, maybe. He removes the head. He chops the neck into a bunch of little pieces. And he's gonna plate this guy on this huge platter right here. He's got his meat cleaver. 
This thing is heavy, this thing is sharp. Wow. The plating process has begun. So the bit from the inside of the goose that they, they strained out, that they cut out earlier, they are now dumping that back on top of the goose. What was once inside is now outside. Is that for me? Please hand it to me. Okay, no, not yet. Oh God, it's for me. It is for me. So here we are. I'm lucky enough to be in this restaurant, seeing the full cooking process from live bird to you know, food. So incredibly fresh, right inside the restaurant, right inside the cutting room. And we are just gonna use our hands and take a nice big bite of this, okay? It's my first time in my life trying goose. You hear about goose a lot in European Christmas stories from uh, like 200 years ago, but I've never had actual goose. All right, let's try it out. Whoa. Wow, that skin. The skin is a little crunchy. It has kind of a soft crunchiness to it, you know? Oh, look at that. Big piece of meat, tons of fat. It's all dark. That is simply amazing. Over a fire, it locks in the juices, it cooks in its own fat, and it is so absolutely delicious. Goose, who knew? That might be actually better than duck. As amazing as this goose was, this is not the main event. What we're here for is this suckling pig. We're gonna try that next. So right here we have our suckling pig. It's suckling, okay, from the teat. That means this has never eaten solid food. It doesn't have a ton of meat on it. It's, it's. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, this is really, it's a baby pig. And I'm gonna give it back to you, sir. And you can do your thing. Show me what you got. Obviously here we have a, a big pan and a bin full of hot coals. Oh, it is searing the pig skin immediately. It's turning crispy and brown. I guess we're searing the outside of the pig and the skin is getting instantly crispified. This is great, come closer. Now we're using some steel wool to put on uh, this marinade here. I'm not sure what's in the marinade. It's brown and it looks yummy. And I think that's gonna add even more to the golden brown color of the finished pig. Oh, and back to the flame. Wow, this is a, a lot faster process than I thought. So we're back round two in the fire. We've put on the glaze and it is a nice, it's creating a nice golden brown color and this thing is hot. So these little guys cook in only 10 minutes. That's crazy, it's so fast. And now we're coming back. More glaze. I don't know if you get a lot of compliments here, but I think you're doing great. I mean, I don't, uh, I'm not sure how to assess um, the quality of your work, but it looks yummy. And I think that's the main criteria, so. Wow, that is starting to look like real food. So that's it, this little guy is finished. To be fair, it was already on the rack when we got here but only 10 minutes cooking time for this. Amazing. Ah! Thumbnail. Here we are at the main event. This is the reason we came here. The everything roasted episode. And there's still some heat radiating off of it. Uh, my man, please, would you please do the honors? Oh, look at that guy. Off with the head first. And he's gonna cut it right down the middle. And already you can hear the intense crispiness. So right here, he's cutting this perfect section and he's gonna cut it into little pieces, little bite-sized pieces. Wow, that looks so good. The main event, this is the roasted suckling pig. The thing about the suckling pig is really, when you look at these layers, it doesn't have a lot of meat. From my understanding, the main draw, the main attraction to the suckling pig is this skin. Okay, I've had pork lechon in the Philippines where they have the nice uh, rotisserie pork you bite into the skin, it's crunchy as hell, but it's kind of thick. And so if you're thinking, is there any way that heavenly experience could get better? Well, this is it. They made it super thin. Well, I mean, you know, nature made it super thin. Right here, you can see the suckling pig skin. It is super thin and it's gonna be super crunchy. Let's try it out. Bro, we've got fat, we've got meat, we've got skin. It's all together, baby. Let's give it a try. Wow, amazing, perfect texture. It really melts in your mouth. It's really one of the tastiest things I've ever had. They put a pig on the plate, so I would remember what kind of animal it was. Pig. Let's rip off an, a good old pig ear. Did you know you could eat an entire pig ear? Um, I think, well, let's try it out. Let's see if you can. That's really crunchy. What animal can you grill, rip off its tiny, cute little ear, eat it, and it's still delicious? No, really, think of another animal. So that's it, please like this video or don't, I don't care, do what you want. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like these. I will see you next time, a peace.